Hello beautiful friends, this is Erica here to do the November reading for the Divine Masculine. So what we're going to do today is going to take a look at the themes that are coming in for the Sacred and Divine Masculine Collective during the month of November. And some of you may be watching this for a soulmate or a relationship or a twin flame relationship. And that's totally fine but I do encourage you also to view this as understanding the divine masculine energies that with that lie within everybody within yourself because we all exhibit both masculine and feminine traits and energies at different times so even if our energy may be primarily feminine or masculine gender non-specific of course this is energy it is important to understand the different sides of ourselves. So if this is a new concept to you, then I just just encourage you to listen as understanding what, how this resonates for you in your life. And um, also encourage you to watch the video for the Divine Feminine as well. There will be messages in both videos that will be um, applicable to you. So with that, because this is the energy forecast, this is what's coming in. And then we're going to get a look at more details and as the way the energies flow for the Divine Masculine through the month, what's supporting him this month, what's challenging him this month, and go from there. So with that, let's get started. Let's get an overall, let's get some themes coming in for the Divine Masculine in November 2019. And we do have retrograde, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio during three, three weeks of the month, so most of the month here. So if you haven't seen the video I did where I detail how the retrograde energies are going to support you this month, it's actually going to be a relatively supportive and positive Mercury retrograde. So do go check that video out. I did that, um, I believe I did it last week. So check it out on the channel. So with that, overall energies, themes for the Divine Masculine. And we're getting cycles. Interesting. This is an energy that really reminds me of the sacred feminine. Understanding that there's um, things are cyclical. There's times you have energy. There's times that you don't. Everything having its right timing. And really honoring the fact that life has its cycles. It's also a card about tuning into the moon's magic. So, Because that is a very feminine trait. So it could be that there's there's a lot of, and there's been a lot of overlap between the masculine and feminine collectives here over the last many months. We've really moved into a state of integration. So I'm seeing that the masculine is embodying a lot more of the feminine traits and the feminine is embodying a lot more of the masculine traits recently. So um, it certainly could... So that's why it's even more likely that the messages will overlap because prior, when I first started this channel two years ago, the energies were in two separate worlds. But over the two years I've been doing this on this channel in particular, the energies have come so much closer that now they're really integrated. So we may see that coming in throughout the reading here, but let's get another message for the Divine Masculine and we're getting the end of a tough cycle approaching. That's the conclusion of something that's been you know, a rough go at it. Um, you've been working hard. It's something that you may have put a lot of energy and, and effort into. However, it's just coming to a completion. This is where, where it's just run its course, whatever it is for you. So we do have um, a completion energy coming in here with the end of a difficult cycle. So this could be this is related to stability being in Capricorn. This is something tangible, something practical. It can be an actual relationship. It can be a job. It can be a number of things. So let's get let's get a message to see what is um, healing and what you're surrendering this month, Divine Masculine. And surrendering your fear of change. Yeah. You know, it's the ebbs and flows of life. Something comes in, something goes out. In order to bring the new in, you've got to clear the old out. And this isn't necessarily always easy, even if it's something that's very welcome and something that you know is for the best. It can always be something that brings up some fears, whether it's a change in a job, in your health, a relationship. This is about letting go of being afraid of changing, of what change will bring to your life. 
and this can be a number of different things for all of you but let's get a message here for love for the divine masculine for for november 2019. Um, we're getting compatibility so what i'm feeling from this is You know, there's there's likely someone around you, Divine Masculine, who, you know, you just have a resonance with, and you've known you've had a resonance with this person for quite a while. I'm going to move this. This is actually kind of getting in the way. Um, you know you've had this resonance with this person for a while, and there's just a flow and an ease with whoever this is in your life. This can be in the form of a love relationship. This can be in the form of a friendship or a family member. But I feel like what's happening for the masculine, especially in November, is he's a, the masculine is really emerging in his physical three-dimensional world as the divine masculine, meaning ready to embody that and live from those energies, live from those values. And this may involve letting go of things that have been comfortable. These can these can be relationships, these this can be friendships this can be what you've done every Friday night for the last two years suddenly you're gonna change it well you might and you likely are because you are being called to embody the divine masculine energy and as part of that process unfortunately means removing yourself from situations where you're no longer vibrationally aligned you know the things that just don't bring you joy anymore that used to be really fun it's like oh I'm over this I need something different I need something more you know, and there might not be anything outwardly wrong, but it's just not, it's just not getting you the way it used to. And it's asking you that there could be a change in a relationship here. Oh, interesting. The divine feminines at the bottom of the deck. They're talking about you, of course, which I, I, I realize, but the fact they're bringing it in here meant to be seen here so let's get some messages of what is happening those are the themes for the month you know and that compatibility it's equal it's fun it's light it's open it's friendship there could be um, a relationship that has been a friendship for a while that is now shifting and changing maybe it's developing into something more you never know. It's going to be different for all of you. But let's see here what is going on. I'm going to pull nine cards. The top three will be the main energies. We have the two of wands. We have the emperor. And we have the world. The knight of wands. The five of wands. And the magician. The three of cups. The eight of wands. And the king of cups. Okay, let me move these. So there's something here that while there's a cycle that's ending, you know that it also is the marks the beginning of a new cycle. There's always an, a, a beginning and, an, and, and when something ends, there's always a new start. So what's happening here through the month of November is you're ready to continue something. You're ready to go forward. You may be, you're maybe trying to decide what action to take. Because remember, masculine energy is the energy of action, of forward movement, of moving straight, you know, like beeline, laser straight. And so you may be deciding which way to go, deciding how, what action specifically to take. Because here you are in the middle as the divine masculine here with this emperor energy, which is also an energy of taking the lead. You may be also very much holding back your energy uh, and what you're feeling for your divine feminine um, for this person in your life that you have this compatibility with that you've maybe been waiting for the right time it's almost like the universe is exposing this to you in such a bigger way that you can't help but just be drawn in to the love there's two children playing here in this emperor card because you've now moved into a place of enlightenment, of balance. You know, this world is a completion energy also, but it's reaching joy, contentment, abundance at the end of a long journey. So you really are emerging whatever's happening in your life. Just know that you're emerging into a new phase where you're going to be 
showing up differently because of the lessons of the past, because of the karmic lessons, because of the the difficulties that you faced. And, and it's like the the divine has brought you to this place because you're ready to, to embark on a new journey. And what it feels like here is it feels like in November, you know, well, you know where you want to go. You know you want to move it forward. You know you want to take action. You're excited about this action. However, you are a little bit conflicted here about what to say. You, you're guard, you're, it's like you're guarded in terms of communicating. Because we're getting the Emperor and the King of Cups here, which can be an energy of those emotions and the feelings really running deeply, but also not rising to the surface. So you may be acting more cool and aloof than you really are deep inside. And it's bringing you a little bit of conflict, but you may want to communicate. It also is that you're feeling so much passion here. We've got a lot of wands energy. We have the wands, the wands, the wands, the five of wands here. It's like you may be conflicted about what to communicate. Um, you may feel like now that you know where you're going, maybe it's a little too late and that may be causing you to feel like there might be some competition, possibly for your feminine. But what's coming in here by the end of November is a manifestation of something that is, is after a long phase of work. This is taking charge of where you want to go. This is about deep love, feeling the love, being able to manage your emotions, so let's get some more here. Why is the five of wands here? What's this conflict or competition about? It can be inner conflict. It can actually also be conflict with others. And here's the seven of swords. Yeah, so some of you are still struggling possibly with with feeling that you may, like, am I really seeing this? Is this really real? what I want is where I'm going really real. And you might be feeling a little conflicted, like, is this real or am I just imagining it? Because it feels very much like, it's also an energy of moving forward, leaving the crowd behind with this Seven of Swords. Some people around you might not like what you're about to do, Divine Masculine. Might not like it, and it doesn't matter because it's not their life, it's your life. Tell me about this Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands. So funny. I was shuffling and that just kind of flipped flipped, and then my cards closed and I, and I noticed the Page of Wands and here it is again. So I'm needing to come out. So you are, <laughs> the Page of Wands is some exciting news. And look at this guy. He's like, hey, hey, how are you? He's this young teenager. I'm ready to go forward. He's like, I'm ready to go. You're going to see me go on my adventure. It's like he's waving back to his parents like, I'm off. Wish me luck. <laughs> so sweet. I've never noticed that in all the times I've used this deck. So this is, again, how these are just a tool and the energies are all different. I can read the same card a million, a million different times and get a million different interpretations based on the energies around it, based on the other cards. It's just whatever spirit wants me to point out. But this is like... Wish me luck. So there could be some people around the masculine who are cheering him on and are excited for him to take action and to communicate here because both the eight of wands and the page of wands, those both represent communication. And with this guy here, it's also a communication of something new, something exciting that they want to communicate to you or that the masculine wants to communicate. Tell me about the emperor here in the middle of the month. Four of swords. Yeah, he wants to heal a situation that he's thinking about from the past. Because the four of swords is about recuperation, healing. And we did get a couple cards. This is actually, this is the second time I've recorded this video. I started it and then I had some technical issues. So I, I just figured rather than continue, I'd restart. And in that, in that reading, there was um, the message of healing past life karma and also needing to take a rest. So we're getting similar messages in this one because obviously the energies are consistent for the month. Um, but there is a need to 
to me, this feels like wanting to heal something. Heal potentially something from past heartbreak. Okay. Tell me about what's manifesting here with this magician. The completion, it's over. Yeah, you're ready to end something. You're ready to close out a difficult cycle. You're ready to, you know, get rid of something that was toxic. Whether that's this be a relationship, whether this be a cycle of, of, of toxic thinking. This can be letting go of addictions that have held you, held you captive. Tell me about the world. And the Wheel of Fortune. See, this is destiny. This is things suddenly going forward towards the positive. This is, this is the Wheel of Destiny suddenly bringing things forward because things are ready to click into place now. So beautiful energy is coming in here. Even though there might be some, you know, transition here, it's all for the real positive. And tell me about this King of Cups. And you're getting the judgment card. So that you're done living away from this person that you have a lot of deep love for. This is the evaluation of, you know what? Is my life aligning? Am I with somebody that I'm truly compatible with if this is about a relationship? But this is really about no longer living without feeling happy emotionally. And that's what's here with this uh, with this, with this emperor, he's emperor can be kind of cold and be kind of controlling, but the fact that he's wistfully looking over here, he's out in nature, he's surrounded by flowers. He's usually very stark. He's much more of a softy, this emperor and there's children here. He's glancing over at them. It's like he's in, a, he's in his fields and he wants to connect more emotionally in his future situation. Because he knew something was missing, this Four of Cups, this was the opportunity to really add in this other cup that will bring the stability. He's at this, he's, he may be at a crossroads or at least trying to figure out what to do because he's not happy where he is. There's a, a sense of lack, a sense of boredom, a sense of something is missing from this that, that I need, something that's going to make me feel very emotionally fulfilled. And so that's what he's in the process of moving out from here. And with this Knight of Wands, we're getting the Death card. Yeah, the Scorpio card. We are in Scorpio season right now. And we'll be in Scorpio for the next three weeks. First three weeks of November. So very transformational energy. Again, an energy of something ending. But it's, again, ending to begin something. And look at all the fire here with this Knight of Wands and this Death card. So a lot of energy and passion here. And this is passion of a spiritual nature. This isn't just sexual chemistry. This is absolutely passion of a spiritual origin that sometimes can manifest in sexual energy, of course. But it's beyond that. It's what's what do you what's what are you passionate about in your life? What are you going for? What's going to make you spiritually satisfied and for the three of cups what is he celebrating here the queen of wands yep and he's celebrating it's like he's confident in where he's going and he knows that the feminine is there his feminine is has been doing her own thing, living her own life, but deep down knowing what's going on under the surface here in the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine. So let's, we're, we're, I'm going to be doing an extended for this where we're going to take a look specifically into um, more about what's happening for the divine masculine energies. We're going to look at specific guidance relating to career, specific to love, what's healing, what opportunities will the masculine have this month? What shadow aspects to be aware of during the month of November? That's where you can really get tripped up on your awakening journey. 
And so this is, we're going to get into what shadow aspects could be coming in for the masculine energies this month. And then we're going to get more guidance. So um, that will be in the extended. The link will be down below. And let's take a look here at what energies are challenging the masculine this month in general. have the hanged man the justice card and the empress whoa three major arcanas you guys well it's interesting because i feel like the universe is pushing the masculine to make things right with the feminine to come to the feminine with the communication with the humility with the learning with the wisdom of making things right because it could be difficult for the masculine to be stuck here for a little while in this energy as he goes through the transition because he has so much fire and knowing where he's going but there may be some details that he has to figure out uh, before he can fully move forward clean pure without any baggage around so this might be a cleaning up kind of an energy here for the masculine, but this is this is where there's something about the feminine that could be a little bit intimidating to the masculine. And it's likely difficult that he's having the understanding and realization of how he needs to make things right, how things weren't balanced before, how the feminine was likely nurturing and giving to this dynamic far more than the masculine was to this point. And this isn't easy. This isn't an easy pill for him to swallow. It's that, you know, the more it dawns on him, the more his energy just goes, oh, I can't believe that. Like he's getting it and he sees it. And so he's dealing with the repercussions of his past decisions and his past actions. Um, at this time, it feels like what this is, how this is challenging him. What energies? Okay, well, the King of Swords wanted to come out. This is about clarity, decisiveness making decisions, being logical, knowing what to communicate, getting it done, not being overly emotional. So feels like that wanted to come out here because I wasn't quite done asking my question to the cards, but it feels like there's something that he wants to very businesslike about this and it's not easy. Let's see what energy is supporting the Divine Masculine this month. There's the King of Wands. There he is learning from his mistakes, knowing to take action. Wow, and the Ace of Pentacles. And one more. And the Three of Swords. So this is about moving past heartbreak for a new beginning. This is somebody who is going to take action. There's an energy of taking action here with this King of Wands that is something that has come from wisdom, from experience, wanting to really have this new beginning, make this offer. Ace of Pentacles is a new start, but it's also an offer. And the past heartbreak here, yeah, this is, here we go. He wants this breakthrough where he's been inspired by the feminine. He wants to collaborate with her, work together with her. He doesn't want, he doesn't want the past heartbreak to linger over this new beginning. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. He's going to stand his ground for this. I mean, he can handle it though. Other people might be coming at him for this new start, but he doesn't give a crap. He's the King of Wands. He's like, I, whatever, you're, you're nothing. You're not going to stop me because I do want to move this forward. I'm ready to move it forward. I've aligned. This is a card of victory of having gone through a battle and ready to click forward and go, go on. 
All right, so with that, I'm going to pull up a final guidance card for the masculine before going over to the extended. So for those of you not going to the extended, I'm going to leave you with a final piece of guidance for November for the Divine Masculine. What's the best guidance for the Divine Masculine for November, please? Show the world the real you. That's exactly what I was saying at the very beginning which is you have now been called to step into your divine masculine essence to show up and demonstrate in the physical world around you what it means to be sacred masculine, the new version of you, the improved version of you, the more authentic version of you. You're no longer living from illusions. You're no longer living from fear. You're no longer living from conditioning, competition, greed, whatever it might have been, other people's opinions of what they want your life to be. You broke, you're broke, you're breaking free from that and have broken free from that so that you can now show the world what the divine masculine is all about. All right, lovely friends. I hope this was helpful and I'm going to go record the extended now. So for those of you joining over me, the link is down below and until next time I send you much love. Bye.